Seismic Research Center of the University of the West Indies has heightened the alert level for the Kikamjeni submarine volcano, which is approximately 800 kilometers north of Grenada. The alert level is currently at orange, and at this level, an eruption may begin in less than 24 hours. Orange is the second highest alert level prior to an eruption. The director of seismic research at the University of the West Indies, Dr. Joan Latchman, says the volcano is not a threat to those on land. It's those at sea that need to be cautious. Mahela Joseph has more in this report. Seismologist Dr. Joan Latchman says the Kekamjani submarine volcano will not pose a direct threat to those on land, but to those at sea. She says when the volcano does erupt, there will be more than one volcanic eruption. The main danger posed by this volcano is to shipping and maritime interests in the area. And this is why the alert level is based on an exclusion zone around the volcano. So at this, at this uh, between orange and red, it is a five kilometer exclusion zone and shipping should respect that exclusion. Kikam Jenny is the only submarine volcano in the Lesser Antilles. She erupts at about every 10 years, but the last eruption was recorded in December 2001, making it 14 years since a major eruption. The underwater volcano has erupted 10 times since 1939, with the most recent eruption in 1990. But Dr. Latchman says signs of activity were shown earlier this month. She began showing signs of restlessness on the 11th of July. At that stage, it was very, very low level, so there was no way at that time to recognize what we were seeing as totally different from possible background activity. She says since then, the activity has intensified and in the last few days, the seismic center has recorded hundreds of small events less than magnitude 3. This, then this morning, at around 1.35 a.m. and lasting for more than an hour, there was a high amplitude, strong, continuous signal recorded on our instruments that we have interpreted to be an eruption signal. Dr. Latchman says generally the Kekamjeni volcano effects are usually contained below the surface of the sea. In the past, the eruptions were not deemed hazardous. The eruptions recorded in 1939 and 1965 resulted in observed deep water tsunamis, with the one in 1939 being measured as one meter high. The 1939 eruption also sent a black cloud up to 885 feet above sea level. During the 1965 eruption, earthquakes were reportedly felt. Mahalia Joseph. C News.